Hi, this is Shay Veronica, and today is a day in history. Ilian Gonzalez brought pure drama when he was found in an inner tube floating a couple miles off the coast of Florida. His mother and her common law husband had left Cuba and they wanted to reach Florida and seek asylum in Florida, but the 17 foot boat that they were on, it was hit by a storm and she died. The husband, common law husband, died. Most of everyone died. A couple reached shore, but Ilian was out to sea floating in an inner tube and he was discovered on Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day, he was discovered by fishermen and they reluctantly gave him over to immigration because there was some kind of law, wet foot, dry foot law, like if you were actually on shore, dry land, you, you had more of a case than if they had found you at sea and Ilian was found at sea. But his, his rescue brought all sorts of drama to the Miami area and Jeanette Reno seemed as though she wanted to become a movie star out of this particular thing. And Ilian's father, right then, in that time, he was back in Cuba. He wanted to be with his son and he wanted to take his son back to Cuba. And the family in Miami wanted Ilian to stay in Miami. Man, it was drama. If you were alive and you lived in Miami at that time, no matter what time you turned the TV on, it was about this little boy. And what I remembered about him was he was so cute. He was a real cute little boy. And he was very pleasant. He was very shy. So he was a cute guy. He was a cute kid. But uh, the father came up from Cuba and he was reconciled with his son because I don't even think that when the mother left, she sought the permission of the father. I don't think she did. And he came up and he was very sorrowful. And the only time, the first time the news and people who were watching saw a smile on Ilian's father's face was when they reunited and you saw the first smile and he was taken back. Ilya was taken back to Cuba. He's seen pictured with um, Fidel at that time. This this happened back in the 90s, I think, 99, 1999, close to 2000, because it happened late in the year, November um, 1999. So he, he went back to Cuba and I think he joined the army or the armed forces there. And he since has married and has kids. He has moved on with his life. Ilian Gonzalez has moved on with his life. But when it happened that day in history, when he was found, it was bare bacchanal. I mean, major bacchanal in Miami because of this little boy, Ilian Gonzalez, today was a day in history. This is Sherry Veronica.